Hello guys, it's ECA here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you PPL Team of the Season predictions. I think Team of the Season comes out in about three weeks, maybe maybe a bit less. Uh, I think it starts with the Team of the Season most consistent. Uh, if you want me to do a prediction for that or for any of the other uh, Team of the Season sort of teams for each league, just tell me in the comments below. Uh, this is just a prediction, so lots of these players might not end up being in, in Team of the Season. It's EA who choose that. But uh, I'm going on previous team of the seasons for the stats, really, uh, for how much they'll get upgraded by, and then their stats. I'm just uh, going on really their informs, the sort of increase they're going to have, just to sort of really um, say what sort of upgrade they're going to get. Um, so, yeah, moving on to uh, the goalkeeper in the team. Here's David De Gea. He's probably been Man United's best player this year. Uh, he's maybe going to be around 90 rated. I think that's what Czech was last year. And uh, yeah, those will be pretty good stats. He's got a 93 diving and 93 uh, reflexes, possibly. And also uh, some other pretty good stats. Sorry about that noise in the background. That's my dog drinking some water, so it sounds a bit weird. Um, yeah, so on to the first uh, centre back. It's John Terry. He's a bit of a twat in real life. But um, on FIFA, he he's not really that good. But um, in real life, he's been pretty good for Chelsea. One of their best, one of the best defenders really in the league. They, I think they've got the second best defense you know, this season behind um, Southampton. Sorry about my dog; she's like being sick. It's a bit, a bit weird. Um, yeah, not really looking that good with that pace. Uh, 51 pace. That's a bit of a. I think he'll probably get less than that if he does get a does get a team of the season because he's only got like 41 pace on his normal card. Plus 10 is quite a bit uh, of an increase. So um, yeah, he won't really be that good, but he'll probably sell for a bit. They'll probably set his price range is quite high because uh, of his rating. So on to the next centre back. It's Koscielny. I'm not really sure about this. There are quite a few good uh, centre backs this season, but. Uh, Quite a few people seem to think that Koscielny might get team of the season, and uh, 85 pace, that's only a plus 3 from his normal card. Uh, he, if he does get one, I think he'll get, uh, maybe maybe he might even get like 87, 88 pace, and he'd be absolutely amazing. Uh, and uh, yeah, also pretty good defending, pretty good physical too, but I'm not really sure about him, but uh, I really hope he does get a team of the season. So moving on to the left back, probably the hardest choice in this team, because uh, it's a pick cliche. Uh, there was Baines, Moreno, uh, Aspilicueta, there were lots of really, really good players. Um, they all had good seasons, but Clichy has had two informs. He sort of dropped a bit in form now, and uh, I think he's been dropped for like one or two games recently. So, um, yeah, he has had two informs, and none of the other uh, defenders. I think Baines may have, but uh, I don't think any of the other ones have had informs, and he's had two. So, going on that, I think um, EA might pick him for. Uh, having a uh, team of the season, and yeah, he would be really good, 91 pace, I think he'd have over 90 pace, 91 is just a bit of a guess, good dribbling, uh, really good defending too, really good passing, I, I think he'll probably have like 90 crossing, maybe he does get one, so he'd be really good at crossing into, into a barber, and um, sweaty players like that, because I do that, so, yeah, okay, uh, moving on to the right back, it's Nathaniel Klein, uh, there is another Another player is actually higher rated, which uh, you'll see later on on the subs of uh, this team. But uh, I think Klein's had a better season than the player that you'll see later. I'm sure, you probably already guessed who it is. Uh, but yeah, he would be a really sick, sick card. 92 pace, probably around that. He will be really quick if he does get one. Good dribbling, good uh, all right defending, all right physical, and because of his uh, rating, probably be quite cheap. Hopefully, he won't go extinct on the market like some of the cheaper forms have. Probably be around 50k maybe, which would be a really good. Probably be the best right back in the Premier League. Uh, currently, Kyle Walker is. I always use him in all my VPL teams. He's so good. And uh, yeah, really, really good player. But Klein, I think he'd be uh, even better. Moving on to the midfield, we've got uh, Matic. If you, if you could partner him and Yaya Torre up, Yaya Torre has not had the best of seasons, nothing like last year, so I don't think he'll get the team of the season, but if you partner Matic and Torre up in your VPL defence, defensive midfield, front of your defence, you're never going to concede a goal ever again. These guys are just going to, like, wreck your your opponent. Like, they, they're never even going to get into the penalty area with these, these players. He, he might have around 90, maybe even more physical really good defending too and he'll have pretty good pace. 
alright passing, alright shooting, and uh, alright dribbling as well. Moving on to the centre mid, and uh, I don't know if this guy will be a left mid or if he'll be a centre mid. He has played uh, quite. A, I think he's played more games at left City than he has at centre mid or at camp. He has had one in form at left mid and two in form at uh, camp. So hopefully EA will, uh, will be going on that and put him as a, a cam because if he was a left mid he'd be a bit wasted. He'll, he'll have all right pace. He scored. I think he scored 13 goals for City uh, this this year. He's played really really well. So he will have quite a big shooting upgrade. I thought he'll also have sick passing, maybe 96, maybe even more. Sick dribbling as well, and maybe around 96 as well. And uh, yeah, all right stats. He won't have the most pace. So uh, if he is a left mid, then he won't really be that. He won't be as good as a he was a cam. So moving on to uh, the next player, and it's one of the highest rated players in this team. He's had a really, really good season so far for a, for a winger uh, for Arsenal. He has he's sixth, the sixth top scorer in the midfield, with 14 goals this season, which is really good for a winger. And uh, he could have uh, he could have maybe 96 pace, 95 dribbling, 92 shooting, maybe even more, because I think he's already got like 90 shooting on his own. Um, third in form I think it is. Don't really know what position he is because he's had an inform a left mid, he's had an inform at Cam and he's had another inform I think, but I don't know uh, what position that's in. Yeah he'll probably be one of the best ones, maybe playing him at right forward up front he'd be absolutely sick. On to the next player and it is Eden Hazard. He he's probably Chelsea's best player. He when Chelsea don't play well he just carries them and they end up winning. Pretty much because of him, he's not really had. He's not had. I don't think he's had any informs this this year. Last year he had like two or three. Uh, so he may may make it into the team this season most consistent because uh, I think that's for for like players who haven't had an inform. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I think it was like that last year. And uh, he'll have stats along the lines of 95 pace, 95 dribbling, 89 shooting, maybe even more. That was I put that a bit lower because he's just not had uh, any informs this year. 90 passing, so uh, he looks like an absolutely sick player. Uh, I don't know if he's better than Sanchez or if Sanchez is better than him, so uh, tell me your opinion on that in the comments down below. So next, moving on to the strikers, we've got Sergio Aguero. He is the third top scorer in the BPL. Well, he's the second top scorer, but there are two people above him, but um, that's because the top scorers are joint top scorers, if you get what I mean. And he scored 17 goals, he's been injured for it ages and ages this season, he keeps getting injured, he's really injury prone, uh, he would be in the top, but yeah, I think he is already in the top three sort of strikers in the world, if you like, don't count Ronaldo and Messi, uh, sort of with uh, with Suarez and all those, those really, really good strikers, but um, he could be the best striker in the world if he wasn't injured all of the time, he does get injured a lot, he's got a bit of a hamstring problem, uh, but if he does get a team this season, he, he, will, probably, he will probably get a team this season. Uh, EA gave him one last year and it was absolutely sick, he had ridiculous pace, great dribbling and uh, great shooting too and he'll probably have that on his team of the season this year as well. Moving on to the next striker, it is uh, Diego Costa. Hate him in real life, I've got friends who support Chelsea and they hate him as well. He's not a likeable character at all, he kicks people and he punches people and he dies and he's, uh, he's definitely a twat. And um, yeah, if he does get a team of the season, it will be pretty good, good pace. But he won't have, uh, he'll only have three star skills. And um, not as quick as Aguero. I don't, I think Aguero will be better. Aguero could possibly be uh, the best player in the game if he does get that, that team of the season. His team of the season last year was absolutely amazing. But yeah, Costa will have, uh, if he does get one, which I'm pretty sure he will, he is the joint top scorer in the BPL this season with 19 goals. But uh, he does score mainly like tappings and heads and stuff. He doesn't really score the, the nicest of goals, but he does uh, score quite a lot of them. Uh, he'll have around 90 pace, around 90, uh, maybe just under 90 dribbling. He's not really got the best of dribbling because uh, he does score mainly tappings. He doesn't really dribble with them. Uh, he'll have really, really good shooting, probably really good positioning as well because, uh, as I said, scoring tappings. 93 physical. He'll probably have like 99 heading or something amazing. So. Uh, imagine like using cliche Sanchez and just running up the wing crossing in and we'll score tons of goals with him. So next I think we're moving on to the bench. 
uh, yeah, onto the bench. We've got Fabregas. Didn't really know whether to put him into this, uh, into the starting level or not. So I, I decided not to because there was already a creative midfielder, which was uh, David Silva. Fabregas. Uh, I don't know if he's broken the record for the most assists in the Premier League yet. Uh, he was on course to um, at the beginning of the season. He sort of tailed off a bit with the assists, but he was getting tons and tons at the beginning of the season. He'll have amazing passing, probably around 95, pretty good shooting too, really good free kicks. I think he scored a couple of free kicks for Chelsea this season. Really good dribbling too, alright pace. And he'll be around 89 rated. So, moving on to the next player is Christian Eriksen, uh, the Spurs left winger. He might be a left winger, he might be a camp. I think he's got one card at camp all bit, or his other ones, like his inform is man of the match. I think they're both uh, left wingers. But yeah, really good stats, around 90 pace, around 90 dribbling, around 90 passing, and then also really good um, shooting too. Probably have like 99 free kick accuracy because he has scored loads of free kicks. And he's uh, one of the best midfielders in the BPL. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a camera. I think we'll end up getting a left one card. So uh, on to the next first plan, it is a striker, it's Hurricane Harry Kane. Uh, 87, I think that's probably a bit too high. But um, he deserves that because he's second, well, he's joint top scorer in the BPL uh, this season so far with 19 goals, so um, level with Costa. So he does deserve a really high rating, but I don't think he'll go from 76 to an 87. He'll probably have stats like this, which are really, really good stats. Uh, by the look of them. He does deserve to be pretty quick because uh, in real life he is, uh, he's really quick. He also have really good heading because he does uh, score loads of headers like the one he scored against Marcin, uh, in real life, so he'll be really good. Uh, probably won't be that expensive because of his race. I do think he'll be a bit better, maybe like 83, 84. So uh, on to the next player. is a right back who you'll probably all guessed already. Is Ivanovic. I think don't think he's just had uh, a good, a, as good a season as Klein. And on FIFA, I don't think he'll be as good as Klein because of uh, that pace. Probably have around 70 pace, around 70 dribbling. I've upped his shooting quite a lot because he has scored quite a lot of goals, um, quite a lot of headers and stuff. Um, and I think headers come under shooting in like a, the new sort of stats and physical so heading and stuff. So yeah, he'll be pretty good but with that pace, he'll be amazing. We will have good defending and good physical as well. So on to the next player is um, the second goalkeeper is Fraser Forster. Uh, he's had a really good season keeping. I think he's kept the most clean sheets of any goalkeeper in the in the Premier League, but I think he's now injured for the rest of the season, so he won't play anymore. So I don't know, he may because of that he might not he might not get that in for that uh, team of season, sorry. Uh, but I don't know um, who else would really. Possibly uh, Joe Hart, someone like that maybe. Not really sure, maybe Loris. Um yeah, so I don't know, if he does come back maybe he might he might not be out all season, he might come back near the end and um, hopefully he will get to the season because he does look pretty good. And he will be English which will be good. So now on to his teammate and uh, again Southampton have I think they've got the best record or the best defensive record in the BPL. They've definitely kept the most clean sheets. I'm not sure about that, but I think they've uh, also conceded the least goals. So we've got his uh, centre back partner and it is um Joseph Font. He's an upgrade from silver to a gold, he won't really be that good. He'll have really low pack rate and he'll probably have a max price of like 20k. He'll probably end up going extinct in like the first, first couple of uh, days that he's out of packs and then he'll be uh, he'll come back in packs in the last couple of days of the team of the um, team season. They have alright pace about 65 and uh, alright physical and uh, defending as well. I think he'll probably get get um get a card here. There might, there might be someone like uh, Bertrand. He's also had a really good season, but uh, he didn't get an upgrade this way playing really well, so uh, I don't think EA will be sort of noticed him. So, uh, I don't think he'll get a team this season, but I think Fonz uh, has got a pretty good chance of getting one. And uh, next, on to Austin. Uh, he has scored 15 goals, so he's the fourth top scorer in the BPL. Find the Costa Kane and Aguero. Give him uh, an 82, he might be a bit higher than that, because um, because of the number of goals he scored. And uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Good pace, about 80. Alright, dribbling. Really good shooting. I've given him about 86. Also, pretty good physical. He did score uh, one of the goals of the season uh, with that sort of. Um, he, he took a touch, like flicked up, turned around the point. It was a really, really nice goal. So yeah, he'll probably get in on the bench and he won't be that expensive at all, really. Probably be yeah, about 30k, I thought. And yeah, he'll be pretty good. Good uh, English player to link up. And last but by 
no means least, we have got Mario Balotelli. Uh, he has had a really, um, really uh, good season, and um, he may be in the team as he's most consistent, because uh, surprisingly he's not had any informs this year, uh, and uh, he's been very um, consistent. So, uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure he's going to get in, into the team. So, um, yeah, very good signing by, uh, by Brendan Rodgers, uh, full of really, really helping him out. So, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's a bit long, it's about 15 minutes I think, um, but it had to be quite long to be able to fit in all the players in this uh, prediction video. Uh, tell me in the comments below if you want me to do any more videos like this for other leagues, maybe League of the BVA, Bundesliga, something like that, or for the team of season that's consistent, or if you want more information on team of the season, like when it's going to be out, preparing for team of the season, and uh, if you want me to do pack opens and stuff, I probably will do some pack opens, it is hard getting coins. I will probably be doing quite a bit of pack over maybe 2 million coins, hopefully 14 this season, so that'll be really good. And tomorrow I'm going to be bringing out uh, another video, I might bring out Double Up though, because I've already got a video ready for tomorrow, which is um, a legend prediction, sort of legends I'd like to see in future FIFA, so that's really cool. And uh, hopefully, yeah, there will be a second upload, because I've already got that video ready, and I've got lots of time tomorrow. So if you have enjoyed this video, it would be uh, awesome if you could hit that like button. 10 likes would be awesome. Uh, for the double upload tomorrow and um, if you're new here and you can subscribe that will be awesome. See you guys in the next video.